So if you're unfamiliar, this is Yonder Cloudcatcher Chronicles, and it's essentially, well, Stardew Valley meets Zelda. So we are this character. You can completely customize your character, even down to uh, their clothes in here somewhere. Where is it? There we go, clothes. So we can change outfits. It's not an RPG unless you can dress up, isn't it? Uh, we can do it oversized bow. I must pick that up. Take that off. Fashionable top hat. Uh, we can change hairdos now. And berry. Can we change that? Oil slick shampoo. Okay. Uh, take the berry off. I want to see funky hair. Okay. Right. But that seems to be a one-use thing. Right, okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's do some fishing. Um, go fishing. So, like any open-world RPG, there's tons and tons and tons of mini-games. And this is one of them. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Oh, oh, there's a big one. There we go. Come on. Take the bait. Take the bait. You know you want it. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Right. Now, we have to get it. the arrow green, obviously, to pull it in. The bigger and more ferocious the, the fish, obviously, the harder it is. It is just angling the thing. There's no kind of mashing of buttons, thankfully. And what did we get? We got a knuckle fish. Now, I have actually got a mission to do one of those. So if we press up on the D-pad, uh, where is it? A knack for a knucklefish. Yeah, there we go. So if we go back now, that should be toggled. And then on our mini map there in the bottom uh, left hand side, we can see where we're supposed to head. It's over there somewhere. And um, Unfortunately, I, what this could do with is a full-size map, but there doesn't seem to be one. And I'm going to change out that to my mallet, just in case we come across any boxes or anything like that, because you can smash up crates for goodies. And it, it seems to be like a huge world as well. So... As I said, in the couple of hours I've spent in it, it's just, you know, endless wandering around for the most part. So the story is we are, we've been essentially shipwrecked on this island and certain patches of the island are infected with a merc, uh, which is like an evil fog, uh, which we have to... Um, there we go, smash up crates for. No, um, we have to use sprites to fix. So you can, you can just about see up there, well, you can see a big cloud of it up there, but on top of the mountain there, there's a, like a little patch. Let's see if we can get up there. So, can we get up here? Looks like it. Oh no. Yes, there's creatures that we can kind of tame as well. Like I said, there's tons of stuff to do. And there we go. Merc. Right, let's see. Have we got enough sprites to unlock this bit? Clear Merc. We've got six of five. Yep, we can do it. And this will just basically open up this cave and hopefully there's goodies inside. So we tend to find sprites um, by completing missions. Uh, normally unlocking a building or something like that. We're going to need uh, the sickle for this. There you go. You can see the sprite just popped into existence just there. Ooh, that's a long way down. Are we going to be able to get back up? Um, no guts, no glory. There's got to be a way up. In interact. Oh, that's just going to send us back up. Okay, so we there is a way back up, thankfully. We can smash these boxes. There's normally decent goodies in these kind of things. 
Smash open the door. Oh, right, we've unlocked. That's the ship's mast or something? Have I been here before? Yes, I have. This is actually where we need to be, more or less. Um, there we go. There's the guy who wants a fish. Let's go talk to him. Here you go, Theodore. Ooh, you beautiful fish. Reminds me of my younger days on the open sea. Here are some new clothes for you. It looks like a tie dimidji and a long sleeve wrap will fit you well. Fishy love story. Okay. Uh, right, let's see if there's any of the missions. So if we go into our main menu of sorts. Uh, this is our missions. Trapping and trading. Benedict planned to trap. Uh, the old trapper west of Fairmont wants to, me to try trapping. Once placed, I need to leave the traps till they are closed. Okay. Uh, that's the carpentry miss mission, and then that's another carpentry mission. Let's try the trapping one. Because we have got one trap, I think, in our backpack. Uh... Clothes, planks, or did we put it back in storage? We may have put it in storage. All right, then we're going to go to our farm, which is over here somewhere. No swimming in this. If we go in any deeper water than, you know, above our ankles, we'll drown. For example, this lake, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. And we're dead. So, yeah, you basically respawned. So there, there, there doesn't appear to be any kind of combat or, you know, any risk in, involved. Uh, but we can just have a pleasant wander around, and I'm pretty sure my... Am I going in the right direction, or is it further down here? Maybe further down here. So these are one of the creatures we can tame. Basically a big cow-like thing, which we already have one of at our farm, which should be around the corner here. Or is it up this path? Maybe up this path? As I say, we could really do with a bigger map, which we can bring up. Uh, yeah, there's the bridge, so it's up here, and then to the left. There you go. Back to the old farmstead. And... Inevitably, we'll have to pick up poop. Yep. The cows have been at work. Well, I've got a cow and a fox. You've, you've got a perfectly good shed there. Why don't you go sleep in that? We'll give him a cuddle, though. There you go. Show the love. And likewise for the cow. So, by uh, you basically tame these by, you know, typical kind of RPG thing of having the right food and then just feeding them and then they love you forever until you get rid of them right so there should be a trap in here i'd imagine so we've got pelts already or hide um i'm not seeing it further up further down that's a seed backpack i'm sure i kept the trap on me Silk, hide, trough. I'm not seeing it. We've got a bundle of sticks. I don't think I sold it. Am I supposed to make it? Is that it? Maybe we should craft it. Okay, let's try crafting it. What do we need? Uh, crafting. There we go. Trap. We need one twine and two bundles of sticks have we got any bundles of sticks in here um oh well, there we go we've got eight right well i think we've got enough so let's take out two of those and have we got any twine in here that looks like twine as well and we just need one of those right let's uh, get ourselves a trap that's that now all we need to do is go and place it somewhere and trap us an animal don't know what kind of animal we just need a pelt of some sort 
but we'll follow the little mini map as i say the, the one thing i'd really like in this is a, a you know a map we could pull out but it's just a incredibly cute colorful world you know reminiscent of zelda but it's just got this you know, adorable zen-like quality of something like Stardew Valley, which you can just while away hours in. Then again, I've not actually spent much time on my, my farm. I've been managed to pick up loads of seeds and that, so I presume there's the ability to actually plant plants and that. Uh, but at the moment, all I've been doing is just wandering around, picking up mini-missions. And we've got to go up here, it looks like. You can tell us how to lay a trap then. Yeah. Sounds like Inglenook really needs to get rid of those, their deck. Okay, so we just need to find an animal nearby and then plant a trap, probably. Let's look for something small and furry we can trap. Saying that, I think there was weird bunny rabbits in this direction. Was I right? Was there rabbits or something up here? Oh, I hear a cat purring. These seem to be hidden collectibles, cats. Uh, let's try chopping down a tree. No, you weren't in the tree. What about this one? Oh no, there you go, that's what it is. We've discovered green whiskers. Just the gentle purring. Um, where the hell did I see those st strange oversized rabbits? I want to see if I can capture one of those. Uh, we don't need any more silk. I don't think we could jump off the, the cliff. But there's probably nothing down there to land on. And as you saw, we can drown quite easily. So. Is it down this way? No, it wasn't down this way. Okay. Where the hell's the wabbits? They're somewhere. Can we get past this murk? Have we got enough... Uh, purify murky mysteries. We need eight. So yeah, we're going to have to do a couple more missions before we can get that. Ooh, who are you? Are you the... Oh, it's one of the sailors. This is actually one of our ah. missions. This is one of the guys that came in with us. Who kind of looks like uh, Honeydew from Yogg's Cast. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How interesting. I need to write this oh. down. Ah, wait. It's you. You're looking well. You survived, huh? Uh -huh. And Captain Pulling as well, too. Uh, asked you to look for us. Oh, yeah. Ah. As you can see, I'm doing well, but let, do let him know I'm happy here and hmm. busy. But it really need to get back to this. Carrie asked me to gather more information and report back hmm. to her soon. See ya. So that's one of the three sailors we need to find. As I say, we're looking for critters. We can potentially trap. Uh, that's just the same fog. Oh, I heard a cat again. Unfortunately, we can't use the, the traps on the cats. The cats are collectibles. No, it's coming from this direction. There's an interact. Oh, it's just a pickup. Right, okay. Yeah, it's very... There we go. We found... Uh, cat... S Sunder Wild... Wind Wilds. Okay. Ooh, and that looks like a glowy thing. Let's go grab that. These, I have no idea what they're for. Discovered Constellation, Moco and Poco, the Eternal Friends. I found one previously, and basically at night time, it suddenly appeared in the sky. Oh, clay could be useful. I don't know what it, it is as a crafting material, but there you go. 
You can see the constellation on the horizon there. But we're still not seeing any creatures. So yeah, that, that's our next main mission, is to get across the island and kind of uncover that fog. Uh, can we smash up these? Anything in the boxes? We got one coin. So I am playing with gamepad. I think you can play with controllers, uh, with keyboard and mouse as well. But it just, you know, third person action game. Oh, chipmunk. Right, can we use... Uh, how do we use it then? Is it in this lot? No, that's give... There we go, trap. Use X to place trap. When the trap is closed, you know it's time to collect. Okay, right, let's place the trap there and walk away. Unless we have to bait it, I don't know. Do we have to bait it? No, it's just a pick up. Right, okay, right, we'll just leave it. Um, we'll wander around this area and hopefully something will happen. Uh, we'll just pick up some flowers. Oh. Did I drop a trap? I thought I only made one. Yes, I did. I dropped a trap right there. Pick that up, sorry. Uh, we want that then. And... So, cutting grass, traditionally, you find seeds. Like I said, I, I collected a bunch of seeds, but as of yet, I've not been, had the opportunity to plant anything at my farm or anything like that. Uh, the flowers, I'm guessing, are used to make herbs or, you know, restorative type stuff. Also, I've been running around for, you know, you know, three, four days and not needed to sleep. So there, there, there's no kind of stamina management or anything like that. You don't have to sleep. So it, it's not like a, a survival game as such. It is just a beautiful open world that you just wander around aimlessly. I have just noticed that my box is showing up on the mini-map, so I think we can stray a little further. And I'm going to put my mallet back on once again, just in case we have any boxes worth smashing. I think this is the lumber yard. We basically take a bunch of wood to them, they make planks, and then we're going to need the planks to do the next mission in that kind of uh, lakeside village. So I don't think I've got much wood on me. Uh, we've got 13 planks. Um, does it indicate how much wood I've got? So I've got wood times four. I think for a plank I need ten. Yeah, there we go. We've chopped down a couple of trees. We'll get ten and then we can maybe... Uh, make some more planks. I don't know how many planks we need for the mission. Have we got enough? Uh. Conks, lumber yard, one plank for ten wood, yes. Yep, yeah, accept. There we go. Some more planks. Right, let's go and have a look, see if our trap has been sprung. Let's see, on the minimap. I don't know how long it'll take to spring. I do like using the brolly to uh, Mary Poppins away. Who are you? You're the huh? animal lady. Squabbles? Yeah. Right, where's me box? Has me box been sprung? No, it's still open. I really want to know, can we put wood in it? Uh, let's see... No, it's not an option of something we can put in our hand. So it doesn't look like it's something we can bait a trap with. 
Unless the, the mission won't let us capture a squirrel, we have to capture something else instead. So this is where we started out. Let's go uh, to the village. Find out how much wood we need to fix their boats. There we go. So this is one main reasons I, I like having it on gamepad because we can just flip through the, the tools we require. And it's down here somewhere. So you can see where we're supposed to get to, just over there. Let's bring up missions, trapping, trading, help the village, there we go. Go see the boatman. Let's see how many planks he does actually require. Join the carpenters' guild. Speak to Rex. Oh, we actually have to build, join the guild. Where's the guild leader then? What's this? This is bulletin board. I'm looking for dipfish, knucklefish, or you. Okay, right. No, we do, won't take on another mission just yet. For you, your. Oh. Agatha Woodgrain, leader of the Carpenter's oh, oh. Guild. Yes, this is who we need to see. Normally a wood axe uh, to join the guild, but we're in a bit of a pickle at the moment. Oh. You want to join the Carpenter's Guild for the first time I saw you? It's ingrained in you. See what oh. I did there? All right, can, can we just fix the boat now, please? Uh, rummage around, oh. badly damaged. Want to lend a hand with repairs. You'll need nails and mm. planks. Talking to traders. Uh... Well, we've got planks. We need nails. Do you have nails? Yes, you do. And that's going to be two uh, Vs, whatever they are, each. So, do we take all 20? Yes, that's going to be 40 quid. And what have we got in our backpack that can make up that cost? Uh, something that we're not going to use a lot of. Uh, that we've got in abundance. Well, we've got 50 of those and they're one each. We could probably do that. Right, will you trade that? That for that? Yes. Right, we've got, we've got nails. Now, can we do ah. fil fixing the boat? You've got everything you asked for. Well done. You'll fit right in. Oh. Crafted. Ah. Get, get to it. Uh, docks. Yeah. Go see Rex. And we've got another mission there. Craft a thousand dollars worth of carpentry items. Okay. New recipe: wooden beams. So I presume that's for building actual buildings. Uh, help, helping out repairs. Yes. And that's it. To actually build anything, it's just a cutscene under the guide. Patch up the ferry. There you go. It's all fixed up. Can we go now then, please? Whether we've got enough sprites to actually do it all, I don't know. But we'll probably get another one for making it across. Small animal pen. I've already got one of those. Yeah, we've got recipes for those. I've already made them. Wooden tiles is something new. Large animal pen, yes. I know how to do that as well. Can we leave, please? Do we have to talk to him to... Ah. All aboard. Right, good. Here we go. And I presume this is the other side of the lake. Yep. Oh, ooh. Camera collisions. No, we can't break open that box. Right, heading for the spire. And I can't pick up caterpillars or worms or whatever they are. So the, this, like Stardew Valley, is probably just going to be a huge time sink type of game. Oh, I heard a cat. Oh, no, can't go and ch chase the cat. I've gone into a cutscene. Oh, well. Uh, 
uh, as I say, do let me know if the stream is all alright and all the audio levels are and all that kind of thing. This is mainly me trying to check that everything is set up properly before I, I start doing this properly again. So hence the late night start on this one. Your path has led you to the Cloud Catcher. Once a towering achievement between people and sprite folk, it now holds open the, a wound across the world. This wound which stands between you and the answers you seek is the source of the murk. Search the desert, young sprite seer. Find the old man whom time forgot. He shall be your guide and the light, the path that must be tread. Farewell, sprite seer. You still far to go. So is this going to transport us somewhere? It looks like it. We, we appear to be in a different place. Will this return us? Can we fall down the gap? No, we can't fall down the gap. What's at the top of the tower? Hazy stuff falling off it. No, we can't jump over there. Oop. Why are we zooming in? I don't know. Um, evidently, we'll have to fix that those clock parts. Uh, no, can't jump over. No, won't let me. Okay, down we go into the desert. And of course, it's night time again. Oh, another kitty. A sandy paw. Can we sneak across that bit? No. No, it won't let me. Invisible walls. So, where are we headed? Oh no, I don't think we have travelled anywhere. Because that is still the, the murky bit. So we want to go... Speak to the wizard Doopies. How do we get to him then? Can't exactly go that direction. No, there's no way across, so we're going to have to go down and round. Fair enough. So the day-night cycle in this seems to be fairly quick. Um, cactus? A Guvia flower? No, that's nothing pick up ball. So we are just trudging across the, the desert. Oh, I can see sparkly bits. That's going to be another sprite. As I say, normally once you've you've completed a mission, you're, you're fairly close to another sprite. So this is evidently one of those. There we go. Interact. A small note reads... Oh no, it's not. Radiant Shrine. Sunglasses. Well, we've got regular glasses. Do we have to make sunglasses? Do we have to find them out in the world? We'll clear this up if we can. Yep. It's just a chest, but what the hey? Right. And we've got orange shampoo. Oh, right. The wizard is somewhere in this direction then. Oh no, that, that's, it's rechanged that. So we want to locate the wizard. There we go. Right. Is he inside the mountain? Is there an entrance? What's that dot up there? Is that just a rock? I'm curious. That's a cat. See if we can actually make this jump. No, maybe we have to go up that side then. That looks more like it then. Right, okay. It's not quite Skyrim. We can't, you know, climb up the side of walls by just running at them. How do we make it up here? No, doesn't want to let me. Maybe I get another ability where I can actually double jump. I doubt it. Yeah, we're not going to... Oh, well, there we go. We did make it. Did we get another... Have we got a 
cap from the Radiant Suns. Yeah. What's in this direction? Just more plants. There's got to be a way through the mountain or across the mountain. Do we just circle it until we find an entrance? Probably. Oop. These stairs? I don't know, it's dark, I can't tell. My torchlight is only so good. No, that's not a hidden entrance. Uh, where are we headed? Oh, there we go. Are you a wizard? Ah. Wizard du duples. Yes, yes, yes. Look. Oh. Uh, sorry, I don't have time to listen to every traveller who comes wandering past. Well, ha I have oh. a well to fix. So, we fix the well, we get his help. I don't last long in the desert without water. Our nearest supply is stuck behind some oh. murk. I need to figure out a way to clear the murk or everyone is going to get really thirsty. Well, we can do that. Is there anything hiding behind you? House. Yep. It pays to explore. Right. Can we get up there then to... Whatever his well issues are. No, we're not going in that direction. As I say, when the sun comes out, it's very pretty. Uh, no, it definitely looks like we've got to go up the top of the mountain again. So I'm not sure how we do it. But this was going to be just a little taster. I am, oh, That looks like a path. There we go. We were no way going to see that in the dark. And this has got to pop us out somewhere close to our target. Hopefully. I'd imagine so. We'll probably find new critters in this direction as well. There always seems to be new areas we'll find new creatures. Okay, this windy path is... Oh, right, there we go. Parkour. Nope. Can we... Come on. There we go. Right. This has got to be something. Really? Um, why would you let me come up here if we couldn't make this... Oh, that's why there's a hidden chest. Okay. Blue fireworks. Right. The oasis. Uh, so it's another village. Right, okay. Let's find this murk covered well. Easy peasy. We got this. Yep, except. Do we have to actually fix it though? Or is it just uncover it? No, it's, it's basically telling us to go back up to the wizard again now. Is there anything in this direction? No, I think I'll probably wrap this up. As I said, th this is one I'm probably going to spend more time in to actually come up with. Ooh, what are you? A pony? Fennycorn. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything out there. Nothing out there. There is, there is some murk up there. Can we clear that out and maybe find something? So yeah, I might wrap up the, the this bit of the stream and move on to another game. This, I'm basically using this as a tester. Clear murk. Have we got enough people? No, definitely not. Right. Okay. So this has been a little dive into yonder. As I said, I'm going to be diving further and deeper and it's a huge world to explore. So inevitably. Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend a bunch more time in this before I can even actually come up with, you know, I'd say even a first impressions. This is one of those, it's, it's easily, you know, a 30, 40, maybe even 60 hour game from what I'm seeing so far. I've, Spent what, 
two, three hours in it now. And I, I've got a feeling I've only barely scratched the surface. Because they st still all seem to be kind of very early starter missions, essentially. So we'll, we'll go get hand, hand in the mission to the wizard and then I'll, I'll wrap up this bit of the stream and then I'm going to move on to, uh, what is it, Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, I'm just trying to get through all the excess games I missed out last week and I'll probably shove the VODs up on the, the YouTube channel. Uh, so you'll be able to check out, out those at your leisure. And back out into the world. Hopefully, considering I keep expanding the world more and more, it'd be nice to actually see some sort of fast travel enabled. Saying that, I did fall down a well and it transported me back up in a balloon. Maybe that's their kind of fast travel. There you go. Mr. Wizard. There you go. Cleared the well. Oh, sprites, you say. I haven't heard talk of sprites in quite some time. I think you might be exactly the person I've been looking for. You've seen the cloud catcher, yes? Once a fountain of life, now it spreads murk throughout the land. I know how to fix it. All we need are the parts. If you bring me the parts to me, I can fix the cloud catcher. Yet, yeah, what are the parts? Tell me what I need to find. Until, well, I'm not sure. Get on with it. Okay, so we need Arcadian Ice, Spare Parts, Cloud Catcher Sails. Uh, I've got a feeling they're all different parts in different parts of the world. So like I said, I'm going to wrap this bit of the stream up. And there we go, we can see that constellation and that constellation. So I'm guessing there's going to be like 12 and you'll be able to see them all across the sky. Also, I want to know what the glowy thing at the top of that mountain is. We've got a murky mountain and we've got twinkly lights at the top of that mountain. Yeah. 